So you're going to wind a pair of bobbins at a time. And these I've marked with these little rubber bands so that my pairs can stay together. A lot of the patterns that you're going to advance to are not, the pairs are not going to stay together. So the colors will be meaningless. But uh, to begin with, wind your bobbins in pairs. And um, for a bookmark, I've found about two yards per pair is sufficient. This is a size 10 crochet cotton, which is not really good for fine lace. It's too thick, but I think it'll show up better on the video. So if you need two yards on your bobbins, uh, a pair of bobbins, you would measure out a yard. I'm just going to um, pretend like this is a yard. And what I've been doing is I mark that halfway point so that I have a good idea where to stop when I'm winding my bobbin. You don't want to cut the thread at this point. So you just hold on to it and you wind them clockwise like this just to get started. And then you need to kind of wind it like that so your thread doesn't get twisted. And I'm going to stop when I get to my little marker or when I get close to it. And I'm just going to hold on to that and then I wrap it around my thumb and I reach under and grab it and lock it onto the bobbin like that. If your bobbin doesn't have one of these little grooves on it, you can just wrap it around your thumb like that and just lock it onto the bobbin like that. So that way it's not going to unwind. And if you need to loosen or get more thread as you're working, you just unwind by turning it. If the bobbin's hanging too low and you need to tighten this up, you just pull on that little loop you hang on to it and just wind it up onto the bobbin. Most of the, um, or the two books that I have, they tell you not to touch your thread or your lace, to use a pin, a straight pin or something to hold this loop. But if your hands are clean, it'll be fine. So I'm gonna set that one to the side. I'm not going to cut my yarn at this point. I'm gonna measure out another yard to go on to the second bobbin. They don't have to be perfectly the same amount because honestly I don't think you want your bobbins running out of thread all at the same time because you'll be able to see those joins in your project. So if you're doing something really small as like a bookmark, just do enough yarn to create that project and uh, a little extra if you're worried about running out of thread before you get to the end. So then you wind the second bobbin the same way you did the first. And this is slipping on me a little bit because I didn't hold it tight enough. You want to wind them in the same direction. Whichever way you did the other one, do the second one the same. And then you lock it onto the bobbin the same way we did the other one. And now you have a pair of bobbins with approximately the same amount of yardage on each one. And these are going to be hung on the pins on your pattern.